Hi friends! Today I am reading a book from my friend Larissa's library about a little boy who goes on summer break and has just a grand adventure, something he really wasn't expecting. So here we go, I'm going to read to you Ralph's Secret Weapon by Stephen Kellogg. It's for Kevin with love. After successfully completing the third grade, Ralph was sent to vacation with his aunt Georgie, Georgiana. <laughs> she greeted him with a banana spinach cream cake and the news that he would spend the summer learning to play the bassoon. This cake is from a recipe that I created myself, said aunt Georgiana proudly. I believe in keeping busy, she added, and I hope that you will study the bassoon with the same energy that I put into all of my projects. I'll try, said Ralph. <laughs> Aunt Georgiana's house was like a castle. Ralph wanted to explore it and to play with her great Danes, but she had already planned his whole afternoon. It's important for you to begin practicing immediately, explained Aunt Georgiana. Your teacher, the famous Maestro Preposteroso, is coming tonight for your first lesson. Aunt Georgiana left for the afternoon, and Ralph, feeling the need for a snack, went to find the kitchen. As he entered, he saw a mouse nibbling his cake. To his surprise, it was he instantly became very sick. Better not eat this thing, Ralph decided, and he hid it in the back of his closet. During Ralph's first bassoon lesson, the sour notes he produced brought worms dancing out of apples. He is hopeless. I see no talent whatsoever, cried the maestro. Nonsense, declared Aunt Georgiana. He shows great promise as a snake charmer. There is an international state snake charming competition opening at the Coliseum tonight, and Ralph and I will be there. She dismissed the maestro and called for her car. They arrived just as the snakes were slithering onto the stage and the snake charmers were turning their in tuning their instrument instruments. <laughs> What an exciting event, declared Aunt Georgiana. Ralph wasn't sure he wanted to sign up. Nonsense, declared his aunt. Many of the contestants ran into difficulty, but Ralph played and all the snakes danced to his music. Ralph's success gave Aunt Georgiana another idea. Discovering that a sea serpent was causing problems for the Navy, she ran to the telephone. She promised the Admiral that her talented nephew would be able to charm the serpent. The Admiral came at once to meet Ralph and to show him slides of the monster in action. Ralph was worried. He decided that he needed a secret weapon ready in case of trouble. Much later, aboard the Admiral's gunboat, Ralph nervously began to play. Attracted to the music, the monster rose to the surface and snatched the bassoon. When the music stopped, the sea serpent became angry with Ralph. The music was frantic. Oh, I'm sorry, the crew was frantic. The Admiral seemed confused. Do something, save my nephew, shrieked Aunt Georgiana. If we fire, we'll blast Ralph into bits, wailed the Admiral. What shall we do? Throw them my secret weapon, cried Ralph. Ooh, what's the secret weapon? Aunt Georgiana bounded across the deck and flung the bag into the monster's throat. It sank back, into, back making strange burbling sounds. Suddenly, a thunderous hiccup blasted Ralph and the other victims to freedom. What was in that bag? cried Aunt Georgiana. Mm. Your cake. <laughs> oh man. When they finally returned home, Aunt Georgiana was exhausted. Ralph was tired too. He announced that he was giving up the bassoon forever. Aunt Georgiana did not object. For the rest of the summer, Aunt Georgiana kept busy with her projects while Ralph went swimming, played with the Great Danes, 
and reread his favorite books and rested up for the fourth grade. All right, friends, I hope that your summer vacation is as much fun as Ralph's, and I hope you find your own secret weapons. All right, thanks for reading with me. Bye.